Hello, 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 hello everyone. This is Jo again of Huruhu. Today we're gonna work on something beautiful and fun again. The waddle. The nice and puffy, soft too. 3D is looking. Um, there's a few techniques happening here. We got backstitch, French knot, and the puffy one, I'm not quite know what they call. Um, it's just something that I experiment and it works and here we go the waddle jaw star waddle is my favorite australian flowers it's a bit of the cute memory there this is a branch from my backyard um my husband gave the seedling for me when i grant my australian citizenship about four and a half five years ago and the branch, I think it's ceiling, I mean, it's about this long, a couple inches. I put it in the backyard and grow and look after. Now it is about five meter high, go all around my fence. Coming soon, we are in April now, so you can see the beautiful bubble happenings. A couple months time. Um, I will have beautiful yellow in my backyard again. Now let's go and see how I do this beauty. All right, let's have a look what included in the kit. This is the watercolor paint, I mean hand draw first and then watercolor paint pattern. Um, the instruction, so you get the pictures instruction of how to do it. In the back, so you get needles, two needles. Um, the yarn for the puffy flowers um, and the embroidery thread. Let's start it. Alright, first um, we're gonna work around the leaf and the stem in the middle here with this um, green thread. So before we start, we're gonna stretch the um, calico cotton so basically you just grab it at the end pull it down and then adjust the screw at the same time that should be nice and tight go and your green thread A couple in here, so grab one out to start with. And this is a six strand cotton, so you just need to pull one out and just gently put it through to your small needle. You're going to do a double thread on this one, so you grab the other end and knot it together. Just kind of like that. And easier, just start the stem in the middle and then around the leg. Let's start in the bottom here. This is a back stitch. There about two millimeter and then go to the next dish. Okay. 
the little trick here the way I hold my hook in the back um, my middle finger just kind of help me to maneuver my middle position so you can see it's up here I just put it through there and that will make it easier and neat so do it quickly So we finished the stem in the middle. Next, we're gonna work on the first leaf here. So to start in the bottom, use the same back stitch here, and the same about two millimeters. And just stitches all around on every leaf. the stitch around the leaf there and now let's finish the rest of them
beautiful so now we done all the leaves let's just zoom it in you can see the stitches around all of them there you probably have about this much left for the green thread for the some experiment for your next project next um we're gonna work on the small line here and that's a little fringe knot okay let's get my pencil so up here you get fringe knot three line this is straight line This one here handy. This is called a threader. So how to do it is you just pop two the needle and then thread two the bigger hole there. And then just slide it. Yeah. That's, you can get it from Spotlight or any craft store. Um, double thread again here with the yellow. And still back stitch for this thing. Same length, two millimeter. knot on the top so we just grab the pencil again three on this side Just get your needles and we're gonna work on the dot which is a French knot it's French knot um, I found it easier to work um, at the end of the text on the table same hole, chain the hand and pull it down. There.
French not done. Um, the fun bit, the moment where everyone is waiting for is this puffy yellow flower here. Firstly, uh, we're gonna grab pencil and draw the line. Then, Your yarn. This is acrylic yarn, so I already cut it for you. Grab one out. And your speaker needle. The EDC just straight through like that. Double it, not to that end like that. Now I'm not quite sure what this stitch call um, just pop up when I try it one day and it's work. Just thread it through from the back through the end like that. And on the way back you kinda grab a bit of it and then put it through. It will gradually create the puffy. Yeah. So you go all the way up and then grab a bit of the thread, put it through, not quite see isn't it, just move the position a bit, again put it through Wrap it a bit, there, and then put it down. It will gradually create a puffy. You can see it's cut up to form the 3D look. You can do it all the way up. Ah, oh, just matter if it's like a thin because when we up, we will see where we can feel the blank and make it a bushy and puffy.
about this much left um, for the yarn you can fill it more if you like it a bit more puffier or thicker um, otherwise you can keep it for your next experiment that's how I do my waddle hope you had a bit of fun washing there and learn a bit of the technique how I do it technique of the stitching especially the puffy yellow one on that you got any question or comment um, you can leave it down here on YouTube or you can follow me on Instagram and Facebook and send me a message there. next up I had a fun one the bottle brush nice and bright you can see the few make happening there I'll come back and show you how to do this and um, don't forget to hit subscribe so you don't miss out on my new video I'll see you again see ya bye